Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so the other day, I had this happen. I was gaming with the boys. And I'm in here, and there are mantises freaking everywhere. Yes. Check it out. That's so sick. Oh, man. That's so cool. Okay. Worth it. That was 20 bucks. That was 20 bucks, and there's like... I, I don't even know how many. So many. Oh, yes. Hundreds and, well, not hundreds and hundreds, but well over a hundred little baby praying mantises came flying out of their uuthika, which is down here with the female. In today's video, we're gonna find out what I'm gonna do with them, and uh, spoiler alert, the reptiles are going to be the beneficiaries of it, not the little mantises. Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike with Alpha Reptile, back with another video today, and today, as you guys already saw, we're gonna be feeding a bunch of little baby tiny mantises to all the reptiles in the reptile room. I don't know if I'm gonna bother feeding them to like the larger reptiles because these guys are, as you saw, very teeny weeny, teensy wincy, tiny little boy. We're definitely going to be feeding them off to some of the smaller geckos and maybe tarantulas. I don't know. I haven't even thought about it yet. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. It really lets me know that you guys like this kind of content. And I mean, who couldn't like feeding a hundred mantises to various different animals? In addition to that, I do have my social media and stuff linked down below. If you click the show more tab, you can go to my Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook page. I also have merch there. So if you guys are interested in some merch, make sure to click that and buy some. I have heard really good things from the people who have bought it that they really enjoy their shirts. So for those of you who don't know, these are the Chinese mantises. These are one of, I believe, two species that are actually legal in Canada. Um, these are used commonly as a pest control within greenhouses, garden centers, uh, your own backyard. I actually got these guys off Costco.ca. On Costco.ca, they are about 20 bucks for an uuthika, which is like the egg sac these guys lay. And uh, you can see here that I have, uh, like there was well over a hundred. These guys are actually really cool. Um, just so you guys know, I won't be feeding off every single one. I did keep, I believe there's 22 in these little containers. I'm feeding them, making sure they do well. And then uh, I'll probably either sell them or keep a couple and um, just kind of enjoy them. They are, as I said, a biological pest control, so they're going to eat things like fungus gnats. Hopefully they eat some of the aphids in this tank. Uh, I don't think that's happening as of right now, but hopefully they start to. Yeah, that's just a little bit of information about the Chinese mantis, the chameleons, love them. Um, and we're going to try and feed some other things them and see how they do. Enough of my blabbling. I know you guys are just here to see my chameleons destroy some of these guys. Let's go. First things first, we gotta catch them. I have like three in here already, but. Got our little container of the mantises ready. And I'm just gonna throw them in here and hope, <laughs> hope that some are actually visible to them. Cause these guys go nuts for them. Of course they ate for me earlier, but now they're like, nah, dude. I am not about this camera life. Damn it. Oh, so did you. But I think I got that one. Those are just the golden punks. Aren't you? The golden punks. Hey. Come here, bud. Mr. Raw. I saw you eat that. I think the camera did too. I hope so. I know she's going to. Yep. You guys saw the tongue. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were going to do it. I saw you staring, girl.
Got you that time. <laughs> so yeah, spoiler alert, I did already know that the chameleons love them. Uh, it's really hard to catch them eating. Mr. Man up there, I know you guys probably can't even see him. Uh. Oh, you're just perfectly hiding under that branch. There you go, you guys could see him. He loves the mantises. They all do, really. We do have Pip as well as the morning geckos. I will try them out. I did actually feed them last night, so let's roll the footage. Pip, you're not supposed to wear it as a backpack, dude. Grab, dude. <laughs> As you can see, the isopods didn't do so well. Got it. No way. Get on you, girl. I wouldn't have expected one of the like month old babies to take that one, but here we are. Didn't bite off more than you can chew, girl. His back legs are the worst. Get it down. <laughs> you done? Just like I need something to rub my head against, man. back you can do it the mantis really isn't that big at all it's just those legs all right come off little one where right, you got it down delicious delicious yeah so as you can see they did actually enjoy them the morning gecko was absolutely hilarious i did not expect one of the little babies to come down and choke one back but it did it the only thing i had troubles with was kind of the back legs but i ended up watching it for another like five minutes afterwards and it did fully consume the actual mantis so there is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys in this video, and I think we're going to try and feed the Dendrobates Tinctorious. They're a big enough frog to where they should be able to eat these. Let's see how it goes. There is always one thing I do before I feed these guys, and that's I always miss them. Uh, it seems to get them, you know, out of their hiding and ready for some food. I do that with all my frogs. I also do it because... Normally I miss and feed at the exact same time. So I'm not sure if frogs really take it as like a precursor to getting fed. Like uh, you can train monitors and stuff to do, but 
as you can see, they, they are coming out here. No, go back. Go back. I know you're a psycho and you're gonna jump out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, nice try. So you guys can see the frogs are out now. Uh, I gotta go grab some mantises. So I'm gonna close up this enclosure and I'll be right back. So I threw the mantises in there. Dart frogs eat primarily off of movement. So I really don't know how this is gonna go. No. On top of the leaf, you bozo. Do it. Come on. Oh. Get it. Yes, you stepped on it. No. There it is. Come on. Yes. Get it. Do it. See it there, dude. Do it, come on. Very confused. Come on. Yes. Get it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh. Eat it. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh. Come on. Work it back. You literally stepped on it. Yep. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to leave the rest in there because I don't know. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Clearly they don't taste good or something. I don't know, but everybody else likes them. So you guys are in the minority, but you'll get some fruit flies in a couple minutes here. So this is out of pure curiosity. These really won't offer much nutritional benefit to him, but I think I will actually keep and raise some of these mantises so that I can feed some bigger ones to my boy Vulcan. Uh, I have no idea if he's actually going to come and try and eat them or not, but let's give it a shot. They're behind you. I think they're too small. I really do. He knows it's feeding time, but I don't think he sees them. Dang it. Oh. Oh. They're too small. Oh. Nope. There it is. Get it. Get it. He's like, what is that? <laughs> He's so confused. Like, bro, are you messing with me? Are you kidding me? I'm not going to spend too much time looking over him. I know he is hungry, so I am actually going to feed him. But that will not be in this video because this is a mantis feeding video. So very intrigued but they are really way too small for him so <laughs> oh he's chasing it he can't really see it very well though it's all the way over there and all right guys and that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it was a lot of fun uh i tried to capture kind of the essence of what it's like to feed them all it's really difficult because chameleons move really fast pip is way above my head so it's kind of hard to film him um i mean the monitor is just hanging chilling uh <laughs> he was very intrigued but i think he's kind of confused by how small they are so i can't wait until i get something to grow up a little bit bigger and i'll have maybe another video showing you guys that feeding a nice big juicy mantis to vulcan but anyways i want to thank you all very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you click that subscribe button click the like button while you're down there it lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments concerns leave that in the comment section if you want to see more feeding videos definitely hit me up down there as well i think i don't know i should probably make a few more here and there because uh you know content i want to thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed we'll catch you in the next one later